Welcome back. In this one, I'm gonna give you three tips on motorcycle photography. I found a little location here. I quite liked the contrast between these yellow stairs and the green background. And I believe the saying is, yellow and green should never be seen, but I think it looks quite nice. It's gonna contrast quite, quite well. Um, if you saw my last video, you'll know that I don't have the most expensive gear. Um, I've got a Canon EOS 1200D. It doesn't even have an interval timer or it's, it can't just sit there and take photos. So we've got one of these bad boys. So this is just sort of proof that you don't need really expensive gear. And that's coming from someone that's not got really expensive gear. Most photographers go, oh, you don't need all this gear yet. They're using all that gear. So anyway, this is the shot that I've composed. I, I'll edit the sort of right side out and up at the top so you can't see the door. So it'll just be the stairs, hopefully, and then the bike. So I'm going to set the focal point on the bike. The settings are here. I'm in aperture priority. So we're using a <coughs> 50mm lens, 1.8. I don't really want to go for 1.8. I'm probably going to go hmm, 2.5. Let's give that a go. So we we'll set our focal point. So tip number one is angles. So as you can see, the camera is angled towards the bike in a specific way where the bike's not parallel with the camera. I have taken a few photos like that, but I don't really like them when it's perfectly square on. So I've got the, the bike here the camera angled this way and all we're going to do is walk up the stairs stop here have a little look around, the camera's not too fast so we won't move too quick up we go again and remember this part's where the shot stops and then we'll go down Maybe play with our gloves a little, hold on to the railing, look where we're going slightly because we don't want to fall because it is slippery. Stop and look back up. Look at the camera, look over the edge. We've always got to do something silly in a photo. Oh. Famous last words, eh? All these bumps. Oh, we can just pretend. <laughs> I'm actually stuck, like my feet are here. <laughs> oh, let's go have a look. Stop this. Yeah, so I didn't really get too much into it, but tip number one, angles. Never shoot from eye level, always shoot from low down, tank level, and if you are purposely shooting down on the bike, then yeah, shoot from higher up but good rule of thumb keep it tank level and low and sort of find the angle that works for you to make the bike look best there's me stuck <laughs> <laughs> so it took 84 well, it's not bad obviously my focal point is the bike so I don't mind if I'm slightly out of focus there so the next tip is to think outside the box. So your average Joe would probably take a photo like that. We see loads of our, our uncles, our dads, with their Facebook display pictures of just, just that. To make it a bit more interesting, if we get far enough back, if the camera wants to stay, stay on that is, far enough back where we've got the background in shot frame it up it's not the best shot in the world but that's a damn sight better than what that would have been thinking outside the box also helps when doing shots like these so if we sort of disregard the background here 
and bearing in mind I've got a 50mm lens on so it's a prime that you can't use to zoom in and out but if you do something like this I absolutely love shots like that frame within a frame let's try make sure this whole section is actually framing the bike it doesn't matter if we block bits of the bike out because that's just part of the photo it would be better if we can get it all in like that and obviously at the, uh, the f-stop that I'm at 2.2 now it focuses on the bike and makes that foreground blurry so yeah that's tip number two Even shots like these where you can use just a tiny bit of foreground bokeh. So we're using this pole here just to uh, sort of separate the subject and give it a bit of depth. So yeah, on to tip number three. So tip three is if you don't have one of these. Obviously it's a bit easier with one of these because these can do quite a lot. But not everyone has one. A few of us are going to have one of these. So the cameras on smartphones now are ridiculously good. So if you've only got one of these, you can still get pretty decent looking shots. If you set your focal point like you would, lock it, bring down your exposure just a tad. So that is not bad. It's not great it's not bad if we want to try and do something I don't know a little bit different like this don't always stick with the same style of photos always try something a little different okay bomb so that's your your image there so that's a bit of sort of like a like an artsy little shot that most people are going to go full bike and if you go for a shot like that you can but that's that's with a phone so if you don't have one of those don't worry too much no camera no problem most of us got one of these so if you want to see any of the finished products from today head over to that bad boy right there and uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed this little uh this little video of some tips on how to do motor bike photography. If uh, if you want any more, just let me know, and uh, I'll take you along on my little adventures, taking photos of that bastard. But anyway, yeah, cheers for watching. Leave a like and a comment down below. Start a discussion, and I'll see you later.